Hello everybody, welcome to Anthony Ray Mugshares, and back to Resident Evil 4, the last run, the finale, the end, blah. Alright, so, last time we left off, it was the beginning of chapter 1-3. Let's do it, boys. I do believe there is a conversation uh, with Tropic Bimbo at the beginning of this uh, chapter, so let's do it. Leon, I've been able to get some new info that might help you. Fill me in. Apparently, there's a religious cult group involved. They're called the Los Illuminados. Los Illuminados? <laughs> That's a mouthful. Anyway, I had an unexpected run-in with the big cheese of this village. But you're okay, right? Yeah. But he could have killed me, but he let me live. And he mentioned something about me carrying the same blood as them. Whatever that means. Carry the same blood? Huh. Interesting. Anyway. There are more important things than solving riddles right now. You're right. Hurry and find that church, Leon. Yes, Leon, the same blood as them. Uh, what you don't know is that they kidnapped Ashley, and then they had Ashley fuck everyone in the village, and her STDs were spread all over the village, and now everyone has that. So that is the same blood as them. Duh, you should know this by now. Ashley's a cocking whore. All right, so there is a secret uh, cutscene in here, guys. It wasn't secret in the remake, but it is secret in this game. So go th back through this door. Gee, I wonder who that was. <laughs> yeah, I do. I see some of the more like Easter eggy things. It's cool. Like in Resident Evil Remake uh, and and a lot of modern games, like they don't they, they want to make sure that you notice all that stuff. Whereas in in older games, they they have like Easter eggs, uh, and and that I think that's the preferable way to do it because it rewards like uh, uh, players being you know investigative and explorative. It, it's it's interesting to lay all these Easter eggs around rather than putting everything out there uh, just to make sure that no one will miss that stuff. And, and I just like the Easter egg nature of that cutscene rather than it being shown directly uh, no matter what any player does, like in the remake. Like, I just like that. It's cool. I'm going to save it to this typewriter, guys, because uh, for anyone who's played, uh, who watched my uh, recent uh, series or any series in general, y'all will know what's coming up. Uh, so if I die, then it's gonna suck, but hopefully we don't die. Come come about here, and then throw a grenade right, uh, aim all the way to the top, and throw it right there. There we go, perfect. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to knife Dr. Salvador. <laughs> now, I've not done this in forever, so I will probably die here, but I just, I just love this. I just love doing this, and in the remake, you can't do this. Well, I mean, you probably could do it, honestly, but it's not as, uh, it's not as fluid as in the other game, as in the remake. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, I just love doing this so much. Uh, knifing Dr. Salvador, it's so much fun. Uh, but yeah, you can you can die so easily doing this. All right, bait, knife in the head, there we go, kick. Okay, go. yeah. See, this is tense as shit because I, I think I keep thinking I'm gonna fail so miserably. All right, I think it's five slashes when, he, when he's laying on his stomach and then you back away. When he's laying on his back, you actually have to do less knife slashes uh, because he gets up faster, which is kind of strange. Uh, okay, yeah, there you go, guys. Yeah, and obviously he took damage from the uh, grenade uh, at the start. But yeah, I, I mean, I, I've knifed Dr. Salvador uh, even without uh, any, uh, you know, recurring damage uh, from a grenade or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, I can't do it when he's at full health. Uh, but yeah, it's just it's just really fun to do. I don't know, it's just really fun to do. Because uh, you know, Dr. Salvador was like one of the most frightening characters in the game you know like pre-release and all that stuff when they saw the the guy in the in the you know the the sack hat and the chainsaw and then just being just being able to knife him is so cool all right so shoot down the tmp ammo oh shit oh they hurt me right now oh god damn it dude they normally don't do that oh dicks are they gonna start running oh no no go right here throw incendiary okay i got the uh, i got the other guys that's fine all right pick up that 
Uh, no, shoot you. See, but now I gotta shoot the other guys, though. Because the guys, yeah, this guy, th this game is sexist. <laughs> because there's three dudes, these guys right here, there's three dudes and a girl. And if you throw the incendiary grenade correctly, all three dudes do not die. The girl does die. So the girls have less health than the uh, than the men. <laughs> and I always found that kind of hilarious. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's what you're supposed to do. I don't know why that guy was alert. I guess because I shoot the uh, I shot the uh, TMP ammo maybe a little uh, further than I normally do. But yeah, uh, normally that doesn't happen. All right, bait everybody. All right, headshot, kick. This is one of my favorite fights in the game, to be completely honest. Because you just get swamped by all these enemies in this little corridor. And you can, and you basically just have to rely on headshots and melee attacks. And it's so good. It's so good. Okay, all right. No, no, shoot him. All right, melee, melee him. Yeah, I'll melee him. Now, luckily, uh, Leon's uh, melee kick has an AoE effect, unlike the remake. So you can actually do stuff like this. In the remake, it doesn't have any AoE effects, which is so annoying. Because you can't do stuff like this. Uh, see, because I'm, I've always talked about Resident Evil 4. It's like a weird action, like, like shooter. Oh shit, he's gonna grab me up. Uh, I've always, I've always talked about it. It's like, it's like an, it's like a shooter melee hybrid kind of thing. Oh god! Oh no, 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 the pick up shit, the pick up shit. I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No, no, that's not the, that's not the inventory. Am I? Well, yeah, we'll take that. Whatever, that's fine. Uh, okay. No, 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 back up, back up, back up. Okay, tell you what. Shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, whatever. There you go. Oh my god, I killed one person with that. That's so dumb. <laughs> oh, that was a terrible shotgun shot. Oh my god, that was so bad. Are you dead? Yeah, you're dead, right? Yeah, because sometimes they're not completely dead, even if they, after they lose their head. Uh, and you can still get grabbed by them, which is annoying as shit. Uh, but yeah, I've always kind of talked about Resident Evil 4. It's weird, because this game pioneered... Um... Third person shooters, but it's not really a third person shooter if you play it the way I play it. Uh, it's more of like a, a shooter, uh, at, like a shooter melee hybrid game. Almost, uh, it almost feels like Ninja Gaiden at times. If you were to transplant Ninja Gaiden into a third person shooter, it would be Resident Evil 4 because uh, it's less, it's it's a lot less about shooting and a lot more about uh, you know getting headshots, staggering, and melee attacks. Uh, and that's how I play it, and that's why I find so much fun in it. Like, if you use the TMP and just blast through everybody, I feel like that's, like, the most boring way to play this game. Because the combat system allows it to be, essentially, Ninja Gaiden in third-person shooter form. Uh, but yeah, and that's how I usually play it, and that's why it's so much fun. Uh, but if you don't play it like that, uh, then you, you really would get, like, your bog-standard third-person shooter experience. And I, honestly, I think that's why the remake is getting such good reviews because I've read a lot of those uh, including like you know steam reviews and uh, you know reviews by uh, quote-unquote professional journalists uh, and, you know they gave it they gave it glowing praise but reading through it like uh, and watching some of the videos like uh, like people just buy the TMP at the beginning and then just blow their way past all the enemies that sounds like such a boring way to play this game because it offers so much more than that. Uh, the the uh, the uh, combat system is just so intricate. Uh, you really have to learn it, but once you do learn the uh, the intricacies of it, then it becomes well, like what I said, which is the um, uh, essentially Ninja Gaiden in third-person shooter form, which is so good. Uh, but yeah, like, I don't know, guys. Like, it's weird. All right, so there's the shotgun fully upgraded at this point, and handgun. Yeah, I can't do anything with that. All right, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, I've always, I've always find it kind of strange how people will play this. It's like, kind of like your bog standard third person shooter. They'll buy the TMP, and then just go blasty blast on everything. And, and it's just, it's just such a better game than that. It deserves better than that, in my opinion. Like if, like if you like if you just played this game a lot, but you always buy the TMP and just use that to blast through all the enemies. Like I would strongly recommend that you play uh, that you do a playthrough uh, without the TMP just to see how much different it is. Uh, because if you if you'll remember my uh, my video created like the weapons video, whatever that was, it was made for a fan if I remember correctly. Uh, I mentioned how the TMP kind of breaks the combat system. Because the pistols are, you know, precision shot weapons. They set up melee attacks or for shots at long range, stuff like that. And then the shotgun is for is, is basically like your oh shit button. No, you activate the shotgun only when you're being overwhelmed and you can't really get and you can't really do much about it. So you activate the shotgun and blow everyone away so then you can create some space and all that good stuff. 
the TMP can, is good at both of those things. Uh, so yeah, it just it basically turns it into your bog standard third person shooter. And I have a feeling that's how a lot of people played through this game, and that's probably why the remake is getting such good reviews. Because people didn't take the time to really learn the nuances of the combat system and just how you could mold it into like a like a shooter, uh, like melee iframe hybrid weird like Frankenstein's monster of certain genres, uh, which is how I play it. Which is why the remake was so disappointing because they took away a lot of that stuff uh, and and basically turned it into another bog standard third person shooter. That, that's what the remake is. And that's why the remake is so disappointing, uh, is because uh, you know they took away you know uh, Leon's melee attacks don't have as many iframes. Uh, they just they're just not as important to the remake as they were in in this version, and that completely changes how you approach the game. It's just weird because uh, I I just can't imagine playing this game as a bog standard uh, third person shooter. I just can't. It's just weird. Uh, so yeah, like if if you play Resident Evil 4 a lot but you've never played it without the TMP. I would strongly recommend that you do, because then you really learn the intricacies. Wow, I'm already full here. Holy shit. Uh, anyway, like I was saying, uh, you're uh, yeah, without the TMP, you really uh, try to learn the intricacies of the combat system, and that's when it really comes alive, and you realize that it's so much better than simply grabbing a machine gun and blasting everyone away, uh, and then, you know, with, like, no threat to yourself or, or whatever. You know, I just thought that, we, uh, that, that, see, it's, it's so amazing, too, is that this game basically revolutionized the third-person shooter, but it really wasn't a third-person shooter, in my opinion. It's Like I said, it's more of a, it's more of a shooter, like, melee, iframe-focused, like, Frankenstein's monster kind of thing, instead of a standard third-person shooter, and it's just weird seeing, like, all these reviews and stuff, uh, saying, you know, like, showcasing that it's just, oh, it's, it's just Resident Evil 4, but perfected. Like, no, it's not. It just isn't. The, the remake just isn't that. <laughs> and I just, it's, it's, it's very strange. The remake was a very strange experience, because it kind of showed me, uh, exactly what people think about it. Uh, sorry, guys, it's been forever since I did this puzzle. I'm gonna be so bad at this. I think it's 4 now, right? No, it's not. Because the Z, it's Z, M, and V. Uh, so let me, let me try to do, alright, four, okay, that, and then three, no, shit. Alright guys, I've reset the puzzle, let me see if I can figure this out. I think it's four, okay, it's not four at all, actually. Okay guys, it's three, and then it's four, and then it's, uh, is it three again? And then it's four. Well, no, that's not. That making sense. No, no, wait. Okay, no, no, that's not. That's not right at all. Okay, guys, the next try. God damn it! Oh my god, I used to be so good at this. What happened? Okay, I think it's three. Okay, and I think it's three again. One, two, three. See, but does it turn? Does it skip three? I think it's three. Is it three? No, it's not. God damn it! It's four. It's three, four, and then three. I think. Let me reset it again. Let's try that again. All right. So three. That's correct. Four, that's correct. See, but three is not gonna do it though. Uh, th and there was a way to do it, like doing it correctly. I don't know. I don't know. I I'm just, I'm just completely out of practice with this puzzle. Uh, Cause three is gonna unlight V. So let's do three again, I guess. All right, three, and then, f and yeah, but three is gonna fucking a dude. God damn it. Okay, guys, I think I figured it out finally. I don't know. Uh, but I, I unlit that. Okay, and then four. Right, that should be, that should be correct. That's correct. Yes, okay, there you go, God. It's been so long since I did that. Jesus Christ. Now, is there a, is there a blue medallion around here? Uh, I honestly don't remember. Did I already shoot it? Uh, maybe I already shot it? Uh, I think it was right there, right? Am I mistaken? Maybe not, I don't know. Uh, but yeah. Leon, have you reached the church yet? Uh, well, yeah, sort of. Leon, did I mention not to take the scenic route? At any rate, Ashley's probably inside that structure. Rescue her, hurry! Yeah, 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 whatever, Tropic Bimbo. Okay, so I don't think I missed uh, any uh, medallions. I think there are three along this track here. Uh, so yeah, I do believe I have three left. Hopefully I have three left. All right, shoot this guy in the face, shoot this guy in the face, kick him, and then you should kick both of them off the ledge, right? Yes, haha, <laughs> that still works, praise the sun. Alright guys, Boulder Trap went swimmingly. Now what you want to do is you want to shoot the, the wire right the, Not like that at all, actually. Like that, there you go. That kills him. 
Now what you want to do is walk down here. Like I said, muscle memory, guys, muscle memory. Shoot this guy in the legs like that. Now he should come after you through that wire right there, <laughs> which is hilarious. Okay, guys, he's taking a different approach. No shit. I had no idea he did this uh, when you were so far away. That's weird. All right, that's fine. We'll just kill him the normal way because uh, he's an asshole, and he looks the same as the asshole from the beginning, so he's double asshole. No, piss off. Now, as soon as you kill this guy, no, no, my bad. As soon as you kill the other guy, uh, which I believe is coming around the left right here. Yeah, where is he? They didn't come. Yeah, I I'm not confusing things, right? Yeah, he's, he's, yeah, there he is. Duh. All right, uh, kill this guy, and then that's when you get the two groups uh, that spawn from the top uh, of the uh, level. Right? No, no, kill. All right, he's dead. Okay, now reload quickly. Uh, pick up anything. All right, there we go. Now, oh, God damn it, I keep hitting Y because the remake got so annoying. All right, what you want to do? Oh, I have only one grenade. E. Uh. Hmm. Uh, tell you what, guys, I'll, I'll save that grenade. I'll just take these guys out normally. Uh, but yeah, as soon as you kill those guys, is when these guys spawn. Wait, maybe not. Did I miss somebody? Maybe I missed somebody. Oh God. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, I did right here. Here's the guy right here, derp. No. Okay, I thought he was throwing something at me. My bad. Okay, yep, there it goes dead. Now these guys should spawn, right? Right? Uh, yes, here we go. Okay, now normally I throw two grenades here, but I don't want to waste two grenades, uh, because I only have one, honestly. Okay, I tell you what, nope, shotgun time. Shotgun time, just like this, there we go. Okay, <laughs> Oh my god, I love the shotguns in these games, they're so good. Okay, he's dead. Wow, that was that was a normal critical hit, which is really rare. Okay, headshot, there we go, and no, okay, shit. Bait, headshot! No, 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 what shit? No, 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 what are you doing? Oh my god, oh my god. I panicked there a little bit, I panicked, not gonna lie, I panicked. Holy shit, that was weird. I have not panicked in a while, Jesus Christ. Okay, no, shoot him in the legs. Shoot him in the, what, okay, fine, whatever. Kick him, kick him, kick him. Okay, I don't think they're dead, he's not dead either. Uh, knife, knife, knife. Uh, please die, please die. No, 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 don't do that one, don't do that one, I hate that one. The quick one, not the, like, not like the lunge, but like the holy shit, shit. Okay, uh, okay, sure, you're dead. Okay, that's fine. Oh my god, it's been so long since I didn't take these guys out with grenades. It's weird. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna back up and you're gonna spawn the next group, which is right now. Nah, right there, there you go. Okay, yeah, it's so weird. See, but at the same time, yeah, it's weird, but I like the way this game does it. It spawns enemies in small groups. Rather than like spawning like a million enemies on top of you like the remake did. It was so annoying. Because it, it was so hilarious afterwards because like I said, you would find so much loot and shit uh, on the ground after like a big firefight uh, in the remake. And it was, it was almost farcical, it really was. Like just how much loot was on the ground. Like it was so dumb because it just spawned so many enemies at you. Like it, it went between like spawning nothing to spawning everything, back to spawning nothing, and then everything again. It was weird. There was like no, there was like, is, there's like not as much thought put into the encounters as there were in this version. Uh, and it showed because there was just like ridiculous amounts of loot dropped by enemies uh, after uh, the encounters. And like I said, like at times it, it became like hilarious because there was so many drops indicating just how many enemies there were during that fight. And it was just insane. Like, I don't know, guys. It was just weird. I guess I'll merge these, whatever. Yeah, my case is already full. Uh, I guess I'll use a white egg just to heal up that damage a little bit. All right, guys, just got the antique pipe. Now, here's something interesting that I want to try out. Equip a grenade so you run slightly, slightly faster. Uh, and I'm pretty sure this still works. So what you want to do is you run to the left, grab this. Uh, oh, fucking A, are you serious? Okay, guys, then equip your handgun in a really quick turn, and you should be you should be able to do all that before this guy can attack you, which I've always thought was, was kind of interesting. Because if you pull out your grenade, run slightly faster, you can get to the incendiary grenade and quick turn before that guy has time to attack you. I always thought that was cool. Now, shoot that, and if you get lucky, there, there should be someone under the bridge that actually gets caught by that, although sometimes it's a little iffy, uh, so yeah, don't, don't bank on that, but yeah, that does happen to me a lot of times, but I guess I mistimed it or something. All right, you are gonna die, there you go. All right, now I do, I wouldn't mind finding the snakes in this area, because they do drop healing items. Although I guess I, I, guess I can't uh, uh, store anything anymore, so I guess there's no point, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm full up. I mean, the large bass, I mean, whatever. I'm gonna 
vamos. Ándale. Okay. Yeah, I think I remarked on that, guys, in the, in the uh, remake video, how I much prefer uh, this version of that cutscene over the remakes because they cut out uh, that slow pan up from the dead body floating in the uh, the lake, and they just went straight to Del Lago swallowing him. And I, and I feel that took away uh, whatever you know, creepiness that, that that scene brought upon. That, that was just a weird. That was just a weird decision, in my opinion, because that was like the only. That was the, that's what made that scene work. Uh, was that slow, they dump the body, and then they pan upwards very slowly with that low-key soundtrack at work, and that's what made the scene work. That's what made it creepy, but in, in the remake, they got rid of that. I don't know why. I guess modern audiences wouldn't like that. They would think it was stupid because, you know, they got to have action all, all the time or something. I don't know. It's weird. That was, that was a very weird decision uh, by them. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save it here, guys, and then here here comes Del Lago. Uh, so I'm gonna see if I can remember how to do this, because I'm, I'm so used to uh, the Del Lago fight in the remake. And I'll tell you something interesting, guys, uh, about the Del Lago fight in the remake, is that uh, on my second and third playthroughs, uh, is, uh, specifically my second one on Hardcore, again, New Game Plus, Alright guys, let's see if I can remember how to do this. I'm pretty sure you throw a harpoon immediately, and then you have to immediately turn. So do that, and then turn around this log right here. Turn around it, there you go. Turn around this one if you can. There you go, now he's gonna, get, nah, he's gonna submerge. So go, yeah, go to the right. Oh, that was close, that was close. Anyway, like I was saying about the uh, remake, um, on my second playthrough of Hard, I think I got this guy first try on my first playthrough. Uh, but in the remake, uh, uh, on, on my NG Plus run on Hardcore, um, I died three times in Del Lago. And it's because the fight took so fucking long. I, I shit you not. I, like, I got so bored because the fight seriously felt like it was taking upwards of 10 minutes. I'm not even, I'm not even shitting you. It seriously took like 10 fucking minutes. Uh, so, uh, and I actually looked this up. Uh, and I saw a uh, discussion in the Steam discussions. Uh, how someone felt like it was—it could be really quick one moment, and then the fight took really, really like a long amount of time the next minute. And I learned out why. Apparently, Del Lago in the remake, uh, when he dives, actually regains health in the remake, which is so fucking dumb. Precisely for the reasons that I just pointed out, he he regains health, and then you're basically at square one. And it made the fight take so long. Like I just got so bored with the Del Lago fight in the remake on my second playthrough. That I died three times because my mind just checked out. My mind just stopped working uh, and, and went somewhere else. And I just got uh, careless and I died. <laughs> three times to that. And I just cannot believe that they did that. Why would you do that with a boss fight? I, th I think El Gigante in the remake works that way too. I think he regains some health as well uh, during certain stages of his fight. And I just cannot believe they did that. Like, why would you do that?
And there you go, guys. We're infected and we're, we're on a bad way here. So, yeah. I also like that version better than the remake, but whatever. Anyway, back to Del Lago. I cannot believe they did that. Like, like he submerges and regains health, which could do nothing but extend the fight. It almost seems like... Uh, like, just being an asshole when you're creating that fight, just to make it last longer, so people get bored and will most likely die because they're bored. <laughs> like, I, I didn't understand that at all. And I'm really not kidding, guys, when I say that my second playthrough on Hardcore, the Del Lago fight was seriously taking upwards of ten whole minutes. Like, it was just harpoon after harpoon after harpoon. It got so boring that my mind checked out, started making mistakes, and I died three times to him. Because it was so boring. Anyway, guys, that was Chapter 1-3, uh, Resident Evil 4, the original version, the best version. I huh? uh, hope you enjoyed that, guys. If you did, please give this video a like and or a favorite. I'd appreciate it very, 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 very much. Until next time, guys, I will catch you later.